Hey YouTube, so I'm going to do another restaurant review today of a local restaurant in Fredericton, New Brunswick called Lunar Rogue. Um, so I went in the afternoon, just so you know, uh, and I'm going to try to focus on speed for this video because my other ones have been going up like 17 plus minutes or whatever, so I want to keep this one low. So let's jump right in. Accessibility, I gave a 2.5 out of 5. It's located downtown and it doesn't have its own parking, so that means you have to park on the side of the street or find a parking garage, which is an inconvenience, at least to me. As well as inside the building, I noticed there seemed to be clutter with chairs and furniture. I imagine that it would be hard for someone in a wheelchair to maneuver around sometimes. As well as I couldn't see where the bathroom was. Not that I went up and looked for it, but that's normally something I look for when I go to sit down to see if there's a sign or something to indicate to the bathroom in case I need to go there. Atmosphere I considered a 3 out of 5. Outside when you're walking in, there's these nice uh, patio sitting area where they have these fire things on the tables, which I thought was really cool. Once you get inside, it's nice, although the chairs and uh, furniture cluttered up pretty hard, so even though there wasn't very many people there, it did still feel like we were cluttered. And we didn't have really a good view of the rest of the uh, inside either. It was hard to see, I guess, what everything really looked like. So the staff, I gave a 4 out of 5 for. Uh, the staff regularly asked us if we were enjoying our food, and they smiled the whole time. In fact, they made sure to smile extra whenever we made eye contact with them. Um, and whenever our dishes got empty on the table, there was someone always there ready and quickly to take our stuff, and they always politely asked if we were done with their stuff before they removed it. For options and choices, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, the options of food you could choose from I thought was really good, especially the different kinds of each option. Um, so it gave you some choices within choices, as well as uh, in regards to drinks, there was a lot of liquor options, which someone that would go there for drinking, which I think is the normal, they'd have plenty of options in regards to that for them. Wait time, I gave it a 4 out of 5, and the reason is from the time we showed up and got seated to the time we got served our food was only a little more than 15 minutes. And in between that, we also got the side dish we ordered and our drinks. So uh, we, had, we hardly waited at all, and we got a chance to eat, so we didn't get hungry in that time. So I think that's a really good reason for 4 out of 5. For the presentation, I gave it a 3 out of 5. There was nothing particularly standout-ish about its presentation, but it uh, wasn't undesirable to look at either, so I'd consider that a 3 out of 5 for sure. So the portion sizes I consider a 3.5 out of 5. Not a whole lot I can say other than I felt like it was a good size. Uh, we managed to eat all our food and we felt pretty stuffed when we finished it all. Um, I was happy with the sizes. So for the taste of the food, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. We had the Rogue Burger, the Smothered Chicken, and the Chicken Tortilla. And uh, I thought they were all really good, especially the sweet chili sauce that came with the, the Chicken Tortilla Wrap thing. Those were really good. It was a really good sauce. Um, as well as the, the burger came with a salad, and I really like salad and a burger together, so that was nice. It tasted good together. Uh, the only thing I didn't really care for was the fact that I couldn't get uh, Pepsi. I had to choose Coke. I know that's a, a minor thing, but I'm definitely a Pepsi person, so I like to have that option. As well as uh, I, I especially like the pickles that were with my burger. It tasted really good. My wife had these little veggie bean things that tasted good on her tree. That was for the smothered chicken. Um, yep, so that's what I have to say about the taste. It was really good. So, for cost, I thought it was a 3 out of 5. It seemed a very manageable cost to pay for, putting aside quality and quantity, of course. It cost us $55 between me and my wife, which I thought was uh, very reasonable. But uh, i got to say, the one thing I thought was overpriced was the, the drinks. Like, it was 305 for a Coke and 350 for an iced tea. That seems pretty expensive to me. My partner for the evening was my wife, and she considered it a 4 out of 5 for her experience. She said uh, she was very happy with what she ate. It tasted really good, and uh, it was so quick that uh, she didn't feel like she was getting hungry up to that point, like she said she feels in most restaurants. So her overall experience was very positive. For the other, I give it a 3 out of 5, and it's going to be mostly a focus on cleaning. Uh, for our tables, they did clean off our tables quite regularly as we were done with dishes. They took them. Uh, almost right away uh, but I noticed the rail beside us uh, was very dusty like noticeably dusty when I talked I could see it move uh, and when I wiped my finger on it there was quite a bit of dust uh, maybe that's just because I'm a custodian is my full-time job that I'm able to notice that most people wouldn't have noticed it but I definitely noticed it there also another thing that kind of annoyed me a little bit was their their cups they were big or whatever but they filled lots of ice in it and when you tried to drink, it made it hard to drink because the ice kept hitting your face, and they didn't give you straws. 
So what normally in a restaurant I would drink about three cups of pop. That I know that's a lot, but here I couldn't even finish my one cup because there was ice in the way and it made it difficult to drink. So for closing, I would give it a 37 out of 55. So that's not a bad. That's almost like a 70 percent. I think maybe it's more like a 68 percent. But uh, I would consider that acceptable. I do look forward for a chance to go back in the future. Maybe not right away, but at some point I think it would be nice if I could go back. Uh, it did have really appealing food. Um, I heard it's normally very busy there and a very noisy place. It wasn't when I went there, so I plan to go back at a time that is not busy, so around noon probably. Um, uh, and a Redditor I spoke to had told me that the, the scotch there is the best around. I don't drink liquor, so I can't make comments on that, but I thought I'd pass that forward. Um, so yeah, feel free to like or dislike my video if you don't like it. Um, that seems to be a popular thing. But subscribe if you want to see more videos, whether or not to make fun of me or to enjoy my experiences with me. That's up to you. Anyways, thank you. Bye.